is a subtle process, a connection sparked by attraction, tested by compatibility, and forged by memory. J. Bell, something like summer. to Mr. Tom in the garden and Nancy and finding out all about the houses and the people and everything everywhere all through the perfectly lovely streets I came through yesterday. That's what I call living, Aunt Polly. Just breathing isn't living. Girls are just as clever as boys, and don't you forget it. Strange, isn't it, to love a book, when the words on the pages become so precious that they feel like part of your own history, because they are. It's nice to finally have someone read stories I know so intimately. at some point or another, no matter how many people surround us. And then we meet someone who seems to understand. She smiles, and for a moment the loneliness disappears. Everything about the wind was bad. Sometimes it blew through the little voids and crevices of the statues and caused them to sing and whistle in surprising ways. I had never known the statues to have voices before and it made me laugh for sheer delight.
is so much I want to tell you, Ma. I was once foolish enough to believe knowledge would clarify. But some things are so caused behind layers of syntax and semantics, behind days and hours, names forgotten, salvaged and shed, that simply knowing the wound exists does nothing to reveal it. I don't know what I'm saying. I guess what I mean is that sometimes I don't know what or who we are. Days I feel like a human being, while other days I feel more like a sound. I touch the world, not as myself, but as an echo of who I was. Can you hear me yet? Can you read me? This is how I lived back then, through books. I locked myself into their stories, dreamt of their characters at night, pretended to be them. They were my armor against the hard edges of reality. I carried them with me wherever I went, like a talisman in my pocket, thinking of them as almost more real than the people around me who spoke and lived in denial, distant, I thought, to never do anything worth recounting. There is a thumping silence, and the light of the one lamp across the wet tiled floor seems conscious that it will illuminate this and many other atrocities, just as it will go on shining through days and months of sudden speechless losts and all the intervening hours of silent emptiness. human doesn't have a heart like mine. The human heart is a line, whereas my own is a circle, and I have the endless ability to be in the right place at the right time. The consequence of this is that I'm always finding humans at their best and worst. I see their ugly and their beauty, and I wonder how the same thing can be both. Still, they have one thing I envy. Humans, if nothing else, have the good sense to die.